When I was a kid, it was very fascinating for me to elicit how the cars were made, dismantling them and then discovering how the wiring was actually done. That gave me a lot of fun. Well, if you're just like me, then you've reached the right place today. Let me introduce you to Chad. Chad is one such influencer who is around his 50s and is a child at heart still. He absolutely enjoys his work. This is clearly evident from the end result that is produced. He generally does all of this with his friends and also his family, all of whom gather all the important parts and divide the work equally amongst them. The way he transforms a vehicle is just impeccable. He welds, paints, wires and replaces the parts that are damaged in the vehicle, while predominantly he wires them. This proves that age is just a factor. He belongs to American Fork in Utah State in the USA where he owns his garage and does all the work from there. He also resides there and while he is very personal about his family details, we know that he is married and has five sons. Surprisingly, all of his sons' names start with a K. They are Kehan, Caden, Kenna, Kyla and Corbin. She accompanies him while he is busy working in the garage. She heads the editing and shooting. They are grandparents now. Their child, a son, gave birth to a baby. Moving on, he is not only into refurbishing, but also recreating cars from the parts he has. My personal favourite is the Golden Nugget, and it has garnered quite the attention. He worked on it, and it also got displayed at the SEMA show. This also marks his collaboration with two of the most famous YouTubers, Matt and Robbie Layton. He used products from the Fabrats. He reconstructed Ed's car and called it Golden Nugget. He also showcased it on his channel. Initially, it was tough to fix, but eventually, they figured it out. We get to see the older versions of the cars being fixed and running on the road. The wiring part has always been so tough to be done. Corbin and Kevin are also seen helping their father. How sweet is that? Fixing all of the vehicles and rewiring them has always been his forte. I mean, old as gold, right? The older cars have got some aura around them. By older, I mean Chevrolet, Cougar and many more. He fixed another truck called the Chevrolet K10, which he put on display at the Barrett Jackson event, which took place in Houston, Texas, that took place way back in 2022. Fixing has always been his thing, but there were times when he was doing his job many times so as to get it right. His job is quite challenging that way, if there is any mess with the wiring setup, he has to reset it again to get the right combination. He is quite adept at his work as many bigger channels have made him their regular. Fabrat is one of them, his consistency helped him gain such opportunities. One of the most problematic ones, which he called Krusty, is actually Krusty Big Block 496. It has been quite a roller coaster for him. His son Caden is often seen involved in all of his work while Corbin is seen recording the process. And do you remember in older movies where the old trucks carried homes in them and the protagonists went to picnics in them? Those vehicles garnered a lot of attention back in those times. If you want to revisit those vintage moments and watch how those vehicles actually worked, Chad made our dream come true by fixing one of them and bringing them to his garage. Needed quite the fixing, but as we know, Chad doesn't step back either. Moving on, the fact that intrigued me was when he also went on to recover a vehicle along with Matt. The vehicle was badly struck and they needed people to recover and drive it out of the steep way which was covered entirely in snow. So he is also a vehicle recoverer now. There is another piece of news for his fans. Chad has his own merchandise that includes a lot of cool stuff. T-shirts, beanies, caps, hoodies, shirts, stickers and many more. Chad is also on Instagram but not so active though. He keeps updating me about the vehicle but not about his personal life. If you want him to upload more cool stuff on his handle, comment down below. Chad entered the community way back in April 2021. He's got more than 61,000 subscribers. His monthly earnings lie around $4.3,000 and his yearly income is about $51.3,000. He's also very consistent that way. He keeps uploading and entertaining his fans with new content every week. That's all from us today. If you liked this video, don't forget to drop a comment below. Do support our channel by subscribing to it. Peace out.